Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back, and today I have for you one amazing round on Onsu Hacker. Only this time I follow the lead of Art and Ava, who are taking up the commander's role. Commanders typically make callouts for the team, and usually play Dark Knight to engage in battles. The satisfaction you can have with a team that is coordinated is unrivaled. And right now, with PvP being flooded with EXP farmers, commanders are in high demand right now. It is fairly common knowledge that many get upset about groups playing with Dark Knights. However, this is mostly due to the fact that playing Dark Knight solo is currently just pain, with hardly anyone willing to join in on the fights. Thanks to the efforts of my commanders, this round is a wonderful 12 kills to 1.9 million damage, with a well-fought victory. Thank you all for the continued support as we just reached 2800 subscribers. Enjoy today's video, happy hunting, and I shall see you all in the next one. As this round begins, Ava leads the charge north for the cave. I have already prepped my POM Muse. As Ava engages, I want to open with this, followed by my two black comets. In doing so, I can help with that initial burst damage. My true goal is to cycle through the motifs in order to build my big burst combo. My winged muse here is a throwaway simply to gain access to the Mog of Ages, at which point I can ready the Claw Muse. As the Immortals begin to retreat, I can follow up the aggression with two strong instant cast abilities, which will also apply bind to any struck. With the objective now secure, Eva makes the call to fall back. Great commanding work as the Maelstrom were moving in with their flank. I use my Fang Muse and hold on to the new instant cast ability, as this is part of my strongest burst combo. I fall back to ready the Pom Muse. Holding back, I look to provide shields if they're required while waiting for a small group to present itself, which I find close to the ramp heading towards mid. I do get dove by the Immortal's counter push. However, staying calm, I am able to claim my first kill, guard up and slink away to the safety of my tanks. Part of what makes the Pictomancer so strong right now is the fact that you can shield, guard, and escape. Good positioning can make you almost unkillable. Stay calm and work your way out of the situation. As I fall back, I ready my muse for the next battle before rejoining the team. And looking at the scores right now, we are in a pretty good position. Ava now leads the team towards the beach. This time around with so many closely grouped up, I want to use the Winged Muse with the Mog of Ages. I also throw my Limit Break into the mix for access to Star Prism. In this scenario, the best way to support your Dark Knight is through overwhelming damage. Don't play for kills, play to apply pressure. As long as the enemy team are focused on surviving and healing, your team can keep the pressure on until your Dark Knight is ready to dive in once again. And you can see me pushing in up close. This is okay with my Purify, Guard, Shields and Movement all available. This way I can pump out as much damage as possible before I need to retreat in order to ready my next burst. Once the objective was ours, I hold back in case of a re-engage while also being ready to rotate. We now push west towards the mid. Ava and Art lead the charge against the Immortals down below. We need to clear out this group first, or at least scare them away, before we can attempt to contest the objective. Warriors right now are Pictomancer's best counter. The trick is to allow them to pull you in, and then make your escape with Smudge. I spot Ava making the move for mid. I take this time to ready my Pom Muse. This combined with Retribution, make for strong burst damage and mass bind, which I fire into the Viper guarding the ramp, in hopes of a fast and easy takedown. As I continue to follow up, I notice too late that their Samurai had cheats and ready. Thanks to my positioning, I was able to escape an instant kill. And right now, I am continuing to cycle through my motifs building for stronger combos, while at the same time spreading my shields to allies around me. Once the Maelstrom engaged, we had the space needed to make a play. With so many grouped up, I start throwing out my AoE damage, rather than waiting for the Salted Earth. If I weaken targets first, Dark Knights become much more potent. And in doing so, we claimed a few kills and I jump into a battle high 4. Jumping ahead slightly, after some time engaging in the mid, Ava rotated the team to secure an easy A rank on the beach, gaining us a nice 200 lead, and the team is building battle highs nicely. As we return to contest for mid once again, we are met with the same group of immortals once again attempting to flank. Here I hold nothing back as we want to deal with this fast, as they will provide an unnecessary distraction, which hold many away from the objective for too long. Shortly after, Ava makes the brave move to stall out mid until she is taken down by overwhelming crowd control and damage. However, her play both stalled and pushed myself into a battle high free. It is now my turn to stall out, as the Immortals are catching up on score, and are also pushing towards spawn. I hang around as long as possible before I rotate to the bridge to aid the team. After being pressured out, I ready Pum Muse once again to combo with my Retribution. My allies have set up the initial engage, so I do not take the time to Elixir back to full as I do not want to miss the opportunity, focusing the center of my attack right at their black mage. The overwhelming damage was enough to scare them into retreat, 
while we also managed to claim a few kills. During this time, mid is still up for grabs, while the Immortals and the Maelstrom are split pushing that objective. We are redirected towards the beach once more. This time, we are only met by a small group, and this is the scenario in which you fire everything. There is no way for them to escape, which then pushes me into a battle high 4. This is important as the Immortals keep up. This push continues further south, picking off any remaining stragglers, and west I know to Ava going in for the big dick play, flanking the Maelstrom already under attack from the Immortal Flames. Rushing in to help, I position just above on the cliff. This push was one of the most important of the entire round. Ava essentially got the entire alliance to steal kills away from the Immortal Flames, and at the same time boosted everyone's battle highs. A quick in and out, before we rotate north once again. Now back in the lead by 200 score, and a level 5 battle high at the ready, meaning I am now at my most lethal, and can begin making bolder plays. At this stage of the round, this is where good decisions and well-timed battles will affect the overall match. Jumping ahead slightly once again, my team were almost uncontested in obtaining the northern objectives. This pushed us 400 into the lead, and the pace is slowed down as we do not need to get greedy right now. However, this next play shows how devastating a Pictomancer can be. I have once again readied my Palm Muse Retribution combo. The Immortals are pushing the Maelstrom, so I loop around to their side. Pictomancer has the tank effect, in which you can create so much space, and set up so many kills. And with Ava wasting no time diving in, taking full advantage of their distraction, I am now free to spam off AoE damage. Together with the team and the Immortals, we skyrocketed up another 200 score. And just look at all of these battle highs. This has and will always be the key to winning matches. There comes a point where one team can have so many you cannot stand up against it. We are now into the final stages of this match. As I do not want to spoil the remainder of this round, I shall end the voiceover here. Stay tuned as you will not want to miss out on the amazing team effort coming up, which includes a huge satisfying flank attack against the Immortals down south. And let this match serve as a reminder that players who take up the commanding role are there to help. Not only to get wins, but to overall increase how fun PvP can be. Thank you to Ava, Art and Scarlet for the wonderful matches. Enjoy the remainder of this round, enjoy your day, and I will see you all in the next one.